hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to do this lovely little basket which i've used 200 gsm lightweight kind of card really but it was double sided and i thought it'd be nice and pretty i'm going to show you with a much stronger card stock in a minute but it's a really nice weave it's really simple to do and it'd be great for all occasions i mean we can do halloween christmas father's day mother's day everything that you can think of just a gift for a birthday so you could line it with shredded paper you could use tissue paper um you can put all sorts in there as well be it sweets or perfumes you know little things like that so let's get started and show you how to do that now i am going to show you in centimeters on this video but i'm going to do another video that shows you in inches so if you want to go and look at that one if you prefer to work in inches it's exactly the same concept just the inches so this is centimeters so what i've done is i've cut down a piece of cardstock 18 centimeters by 22 and a half centimeters and then i've done a strip which is two and a half centimeters wide by 22 and a half centimeters the same length as the card so it's 22 and a half if you want to jot that down by 18 okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to score the length way so we've got the shorter side the 18 centimeter side and it's basically going to be in thirds so you could adapt this and do different sizes so this is six and then the third of that is 12. So you've got six, 12, 18. So you've got three columns of six centimeters that way. And then we're gonna turn it around, put it landscape. And now we're gonna score it a little bit differently. So we're gonna score this one, this way around at seven and a half and 15 all the way through. Okay, so seven and a half and 15 all the way through the cardstock. These will all be reinforced score lines here so you could do that i'll do that now and you might be able to see a little bit better as well because i know it's quite difficult to see so basically we've got nine columns but they're not you know the squares they're rectangles so you've got nine columns there so we've done those and then what we're going to do actually i might score it on this side because it's only going to be a cut line and i can show you let me just grab a pen and then I can show you with a pen where it sits on there. So we're going to do this one. So this is going to be in thirds as well. So it's seven and a half. So we're going to score it at two and a half centimetres just down to that first score line and at um, five centimetres. So two and a half and five. You don't have to score this is a cut line so if you've got a trimmer then you can go straight in on your trimmer and do two and a half in from the end five in from the end and then 17 and a half and 20. so if you've got a, a cutting trimmer then you can just go in and do that but i'm just doing this for people that don't have it and because you can't see i'm just gonna draw in those score lines so two and a half to that line they're not going to be completely straight because it's only rough into those score lines two and a half and f sorry it says three sections so 17 and a half and 20 so two and a half five 17 and a half and 20 and then you're also going to cut this line that we did just now so this one's going to get cut as well down to there the score line's facing the other way so can't really write on it so we're going to go in again on this one and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to go two and a half and five 17 and a half and 20 so it's the same thing there down to that very first score line and we're also going to be cutting that line so the lines that i'm drawing in black let me just turn this over and then if i score these this way seven and a half and 15 and the indents will be the other way around and i've got a better chance of being able to draw on there not very well seven and a half 15 so these are kind of your cut lines well they are your cut lines oops and 15 so you wouldn't draw these you just cut them i'm just doing it to show you okay now before i cut what i like to do this is going to be the outside of my basket and this is going to be the inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some tape across these cut lines before I cut them. And it saves me putting on lots of little pieces all in, you know, having to do it all in three sections. You know, that's a lot of taping. I'm only going to do four, whereas I would be doing 12. 
that's three all in one go I'm just going to move this scoreboard because it does get a bit clangy so we've finished with that now and then the other thing I like to do is with the this is the handle so this is going to be the handle it's your because this is a really strong hunky dory card you want to curve it a little bit before you put it on but we're going to put some tape at the ends of these so just about just think about a square you know square size on there and a square size on there and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you get the next videos that i do for more inspiration and thank you for watching today as well so what we're going to do now is cut these lines like i said so we're just going to go in and we're going to cut along here don't ignore my drawing lines because they're a little bit off but just gave you the idea of what's going on because it's very difficult to see score lines on the camera i'm just going to go around and cut all of these And it is really simple once you've got to this stage and it's not difficult just go back to the beginning and jot down those measurements so that you know them and then you can um carry on and you'll be able to work out your own ones as well so you can make them a little bit bigger if you've got 12 by 12 cardstock but i do think they're a good idea for a little gift basket something a little bit different isn't it you can because it's made from cardstock you can also um, make cards to match it which is really nice now on my one where I did these little tabs I actually put some ink on the edges because I really want to emphasize, emphasize that weave that's on there but you could turn it over and you could cut out smaller pieces and mat in layer and don't worry about the ends but just make the mat there just in that side leave a little border around this section so just make it a little bit smaller probably two centimeters because this is two and a half so if you make it two centimeters and a little bit shorter than the length there which i think is six if you do it five and a half by two you can make all little tabs to go on there look really pretty so anyway i'm just going to show you how to put this together very very simple so what we do is we start with the base one. Now this is how I like to do these. So I start with the base one and take my tape off the base one. So that's the one that's closest to the square in the middle. And then what I like to do is just get it to the top and then push it down. So we've got our first one over. And then fold this one back, do the same thing. Just pull it up until that little point is at the top and you can use your finger as a guide and that's your first layer in now for the second one same thing so it's not going to fall in the same place because you want that weave so just when it hits the top there just give it a push down and having that tape on there previously saves me trying to work in the air putting tape on all these tabs so just pop that down give it a squash and the last one you want still want the same thing to happen and it is it isn't going to be straight because if it was straight it would be like that so what you're going to do is you're going to push this one down as well so it's got that little angle on it which i really like i think it's quite nice and then the final one and this is all going to get covered up by your handle for the basket and then that one the top one goes to the, there as well so that's one side we've just got to do the other side so again just to show you again take your tab off the one that's closest to that square fold it in just get it up to the top and push it down do the matching one on the other side you'd obviously ink these if you were going to do what i did before you put them down And the second one again just use your finger make sure it's going in at the right place and again there and finally the top one comes down and this one 
on the stand and there you go you've got your really really stylish little basket it looks really really sweet so all we've got to do now is remove the tape from our handle now if you wanted to you could attach this with a brad just poke a hole through the pair of them the handle and the basket and then that way your handle can move back and forth but ours is going to be rigid so you can put it where you like i wouldn't go too far below where all the pleats are because you can cover it up with flowers um little pictures of bunny rabbits or stamped bunny rabbits that you've cut out things like that for easter halloween you could do um skulls and things like that so there you go so if you had a brad that would obviously move side to side but that's it so thank you for watching please subscribe like and hit that notification bell thank you bye